inside and I laugh on my own. Got all the tea and I'm hotting it up. I need a shade mansion, a room's not enough. You're dropping some shit, but that shit was a What's up guys? Welcome back to another edition of Rose's World. As always, I'm your guy, Rose. I know it's been a little bit of I know it's been a little while since I last dropped a video, so Today what we're going to do is a top 10 winter fragrances. I didn't really put these in any type of specific order. I just know that I like them all and it was kind of hard to do that. So I'm going to just go ahead and dive right into this one. Let me know what you guys think. First up what we're going to do is CK1 Shock. Now I know what you're thinking. CK1? Really? Yeah, CK1. This one is actually really, really good. And it's like $20 for a 200ml. Like, I get a, uh, a La Nuit de Lone kind of vibe from this one, um, but I also get like a little bit of smokiness, a little bit of tobacco. Um, I do like this one a lot, so definitely go ahead and give this one a try. Next up, what we're gonna go for is Stronger With You by Armani. Now this one, oh my God, like it's, it's such a great scent. Now I do say that it does remind me a lot of a uh, by the fireplace vibe, but it's it comes off a little bit more playful not as serious um, And I believe that it'll actually last a little bit longer as well. I mean the The, the longevity on this one. I, I would say that it's not always that great But I do get a decent longevity out of it and it's a it's a really nice scent You can wear it out for like a date. You can wear it out to the club You can wear it pretty much if you're just kind of hanging around It's a really like pleasant scent and people around you would really enjoy it as well so if you haven't got your nose on that one, go ahead and give that one a try. Next, Dolce & Gabbana, the one EDP. Do I really have to tell you about this one? Most of you guys probably already know. This one makes like almost everybody's list. It literally just goes without saying that this scent is amazing and is definitely worth a pickup in a full bottle. Now, mm, I, I like, I really don't even have to say much about this one. It's just amazing. Like it's a subtle scent, but it just smells so great. It's pleasant. Everyone around you will love it. I promise. You know, it's just a, it's just a great scent. The only thing on it is that, as we all know, the longevity isn't that great, but the scent is like a one. It's amazing. All right, go ahead. If you haven't smelled this one, check it out. Really, you know. Next one. Now, this a gem. This is. Alexandria Fragrances Cacao Dreams. Now this is sensual, this is chocolatey, this is sweet, this is strong like people. This will create a whole scent bubble around you. People will love this scent. You just will smell like a complete dessert. Like this, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I believe that it is, when I had bought it, it was like 50, 60 bucks. I believe the price might have had gone up. You get this size bottle. Um, and like I said, it's just a really great scent. This is a 60 ml, so basically you pay almost a dollar per ml. It's it's something that you would love having in your collection. I, I promise. It's it's just a overall great scent. I get compliments compliments on it all the time. People just you know they say that you always like every time they always ask, "What well, smells like chocolate? It smells like somebody's like baking in here." And no, it's this. <laughs> I like it. I love it actually. So next one, replica. Jazz Club. Now with this one, you get like a, a tobacco kind of vibe from this one. It just, it smells overall great. It's one of those boozy kind of scents that you get like alcohol and you get the, uh, the tobacco vibes from this. It's one of those ones that I, that gives you like a kind of like F you kind of vibe, if you know what I mean. Like if you guys smell like boozy fragrances, that's what I always get from those, those ones that kind of just, it smells great. This one smells great. It's not as like uh, strong as other boozy fragrances, but this one is, uh, it still gives you that kind of like F you kind of vibe, but in my opinion, at least. But overall, people will love it. Um, it is a really amazing scent. You can pick this one up from probably like your Nordstrom or your Sephora, and um, I believe it's like 120 bucks. So it is, if you haven't smelled this one, go ahead and get your nose on it as well. Next one, La Nuit de Lone L'Intense. Now, this one is a very soft and sensual smelling fragrance. This one I would wear a lot on like date nights and you know, just going out with bay. I wouldn't be doing anything like partying or anything with this one. This one is just a really like subtle fragrance. It's not as the name implies, it's not intense, it's not loud, it's not strong. Like people will smell it on you, but it's not overbearing and like 
it it doesn't really make an announcement when you enter the room it just smells very it's like a sweet kind of smelling fragrance and i do really like this if you like any of the like if you like the original la nuit de l'homme um then you will definitely most likely like this one as well um but again it's not it's not anything kind of like the la nuit de l'homme it's, it's completely different it's just a sweeter uh different vibe when you get this one so if you haven't smelled this definitely check this out as well next one tom ford noir extreme uh i wish i would have got a bigger bottle of this one like for real i like regret not buying a bigger one. i had bought this one actually as a blind buy like i didn't know what to expect i didn't see any reviews on it i i completely didn't know i seen tom ford on the name i was like damn that has to be good and like this, I bought this, this was like one of my first fragrances, like I, when I had just entered the whole fragrance game and I didn't know. And when I had got it, I was completely amazed by it. Um, now, um, I used to think that it was like super strong until I started smelling more and more and more colognes. Like this one is, it's not super strong, but it does have more of a, I feel like a, like a gentleman kind of statement. Like it does come off as a very manly fragrance if you will uh this one i believe you can get the smaller bottle for around about like anywhere between like 90 and like 100 bucks maybe um i haven't actually checked the price on this one if i can find uh the price on this one i will definitely link it below in the description uh but this one is definitely worth checking out i do heavily like this fragrance a lot it has a lot of tobacco in it as well and it's really just an enjoyable scent. I really do like it. If you haven't smelled uh, Tom Ford Noir Extreme, which most of you probably have, then I would definitely check it out. Now, it doesn't garner me a lot of compliments, but people do around people around me do tell me that they do like the scent and just smells very manly as well. So go ahead and give it a try. Next one, Amen's uh, Pure Coffee. With Pure Coffee, this one it it as the name implies, it literally smells like ground coffee. Now you would think that that doesn't smell good, but it does. Initial spray does come off in my opinion as a little bit harsh, but the magic is also like after the initial spray, when it starts to dry down immediately, you'll start smelling like, oh my God, this is actually really good. And it is, like I do like it. It's very seductive scent. Like women like it, you know, guys like it. Everybody around you will like it. It just, it smells literally just like coffee. It's like, you can't get any more, uh, you can't get any more specific than that really so i got this one for fairly cheap i think i got this one for around about like i think it was like 30 40 bucks um if you haven't smelled any thierry mugles colognes like you should definitely give it a try everybody and their mom knows about this scent if you don't know about this scent then like i don't know this is just literally on everyone's list it's been talked and raved about all the time versace eros the reason why this is making my top 10 list is because it's so, so, so versatile. Like you could wear this in the summer, spring, winter, fall, like whatever. For any occasion, for any reason, like it's just so versatile. It just works all the time. This is a workhorse fragrance and everyone will love it. You will come across very few people that don't like this fragrance. And like to, the, to this day, I still haven't found one person that told me that they hate it. Like this is, it just smells so good. You know, like you, you can't go wrong. So that's the reason why, like, this fragrance made my list. It's, it's just amazing. You can't go wrong. So if you haven't smelled Versace Eros, go ahead and give it a chance. And last but not least, one of my all-time favorites will probably always be in my top ten list. I just, it's literally the fragrance that started me onto the wave of getting more and more fragrances and that one is going to be YSL La Nuit de Lone. This fragrance is amazing. Like it's this one is the one that just captivated my heart on all fragrances. This is the one that like I can just I just need to always have a bottle of. It will always be in my collection. I have a full bottle, you know, along with this one as well. And it's just amazing. Like I you can't go wrong with this. It's just like a nice seductive fragrance. Everyone will love it. It's just super sexy. It's sensual. You know, it's not overpowering and it's just 
it's just lovely like it's just a lovely scent and i i can't go without it in my opinion i like it that much so um that was my top 10 list let me know what you guys think remember to like comment and subscribe i really do hope everyone has a amazing 2019 happy new year to you all thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one i'm out of here <clears throat>